To add a lesson to the Nearpod library, you would first need to click on the Create a Lessons tab. By clicking on the Create a Lessons tab, you can create a lesson from scratch, upload a lesson from Google Slides or a PDF or document, explore the Nearpod library, or use the Google Slides add-on. For this one, we'll create a lesson from scratch. Once we click on Create Lesson from Scratch, you can begin by adding content and activities, uploading your own files, adding a quick slide, or creating a quiz. I'm going to start off with adding content and activities. I'm going to click this box, and here you can either search by name or category, or you can go to the ones that are the most recent and popular, such as slides, slideshows, scrolling down, videos, quizzes, multiple choices, time to climb, and matching pairs, and more. Once you decide which one you would like to select, you're going to select it, and then you're going to click Add. In this one, I'm going to click on Multiple Choice. Now I have the option of placing my questions here, along with my answers and the correct answer choices to formulate my quiz. So the first question would be, So my first question is, who would be the main character in the Three Little Pigs? I can type out the question. I can change the font size. I can change the depth of the font, underline it, and also I can change the font color. In addition to that, I can add in any images, audio, or other media that would be supporting the question. Here, I will type in my answer choices. And then I will select my correct answer choice. This way, when your students are selecting, it will give you concise data on what questions are being answered correctly and incorrectly. Once I'm done, I can add a new question to my um, multiple choice and continue to add on until I'm finished creating my lesson. Here, I will give it a, a lesson assignment name. Just going to call this one the quiz. And then once you're finished, you can either do a preview of the lesson to see what your lesson looks like. Or you can also um, save your lesson and exit. Once you save your lesson and exit, it will save back into your Nearpod library. So here we have our lesson here in the Nearpod library, and we're now ready to teach. Another way that you can add a lesson to your library is by clicking on Create a Lesson. And instead of creating a lesson from scratch, we will explore the Nearpod library. So I'm going to click on Explore the Nearpod library. Once I do that, I can search either by grade, subject area, content type, publisher, and if we have that premium content, we can search it through the premium content as well. I also have a search bar here at the top. So for this one, I'm going to search it by grade level. I'm going to go to fourth grade. Once I get to the fourth grade level, it will um, divide my lessons into uh, all of my Nearpods into lessons, activities, videos, and then the lessons that I've created that are geared towards fourth grade. If I wanted to narrow it down to a specific subject area, because right now we're at 999 plus in each one of them, I can narrow it down by clicking on subject click in the subject area, and then we've already chosen our grade as fourth. If we wanted to tailor it even more, we can select more grades, and then for the sources, we can we have it set for the Nearpod library. Once we do that, we have our um, activities that are here, and any activity that we find interesting for our students, because um, our subject right now is ELA, um, anything that students, we can add that to our 
near Pod Library. So let's say, for example, we wanted to do the race writing strategy. If I hover over it, it will give me an example of a preview and add to my lessons. Because we want to add this to our near Pod Library, we're going to click on Add to my lessons. Once we do that, we'll get a message at the top saying that it was successfully added. And if we click over here to my lessons, you will see the race writing strategy right here in addition to the quiz that we created earlier on our own from scratch right there. And this is how we add our lessons to the Nearpod library.